in a fairly new career, got yes. seven or eight credits. Two of them are on the biggest shows on television. I know. How did that happen? <laughs> I know. Really. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> um, oh, it's phenomenal. It's wonderful. To, to With Game of Thrones, it was a fantastic opportunity and experience to be able to walk into an established series. It was yeah. really, really yeah. brilliant. Yeah. And, of course, Down Abbey and before that. Yes. Um, uh, in a very pivotal role there. Yes. Uh, and uh, I have to ask you how... Uh, how you reacted to, to Lady Sybil's death on the show? Because you guys, you guys had a lot we of We were tied. Together. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, I didn't, I didn't see it coming. Yeah. No, I was mortified. I was very upset for her little one, yeah. her little daughter, and also for Branson as well. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't like. It. I think I stood up in protest from my sofa. I was like, this is not on. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you remain a fan. Uh, I'm a big fan. Big yeah. fan. I still love watching the show. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah, no, it's fantastic. And, and, and one thing they do have in common, although you could not have more uh, different um, environments no. than between these two shows. No, very true. <laughs> very true, yeah. Well, one marginal li- kingdom. And, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, well, in, in, in one, you're, you're living out in the wild, being a wildling. Yes. Uh, and in the other one, you're in this absolutely gorgeous palatial mansion. Uh, yes. Yes, which is more fun? It's got to be Iceland. Really? It's got to be Iceland. Yeah. Oh, my God, it was phenomenal to be there. I, it's now, it's um, a very special place for me. I've got a lot of love for Iceland, and... Um, and it's just beaut- beautiful. And the locations, well, on the locations on Game of Thrones, for me, I know I'm going to be biased, but I would watch the show purely just for yeah. the locations. And yeah. it is just mesmerizing. And it is, uh, unlike a show that where you can create even more elaborate locations with CGI, yes. there's a difference being that. There's a difference watching it. And I'm mm. sure as an actor, uh, putting yourself in the moment, mm. it's much better to actually be, not be looking at a green screen with a dot on it. Very much so. And you know, you use the territory as well. And you've got the wind kind of like lashing in your face and you're trudging through the snow and it helps you adopt adopt the character and you know you've got the heavy coat on you as egret you've got the heavy coat on you and you're kind of plodding through and your body language just shifts it all changes and you become and, and it's wonderful it definitely helps to, to the acting and it's wonderful to be able to step into the shoes so to speak yeah. and um and allow the character and the beautiful intelligent writing as well yeah. just just overtake you yeah. and yeah it's incredible there are moments though i mean when iceland is just so mesmerizing that you kind of stop for a minute and you look around and you're like what the hell are we doing here and then you're like oh no shit wait a minute i've got to carry on acting i've got to do my job um but uh but yeah and no, it's just so vast and immense yeah. i'm not a great. tourist i'm an actor Focus. <laughs> Focus, exactly, exactly. Come on, you're here to do a job. And for me, um, fantasy is, is a wonderful escapism. Yeah. And you get to throw yourself into this world. And because the characters are so distinct and colourful in their own way, it's impossible not to get excited about what is going to happen to each and every one. And there's so much going on yeah. that you cannot help but be enthralled. Speaking of which, mm. I don't know you can only say so much, but, oh, yes. but uh, we'll be uh, we'll be writing this at the beginning of season three. Okay. Uh, what can you tell us about what's up for you? Season three? What can I tell you without giving anything away? Okay. Um, I think it's going to be a phenomenally exciting season, mm-hmm. and we see the show's beloved characters get pushed and turned and tested to the extreme. And I think it's going to be incredibly su- surprising, if not more so than the first two seasons. And um, I think viewers are going to be shocked, uh-huh. uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, it's a balance. It's a delicate yeah. balance. I'm glad you <laughs> added that. I don't want to scare people. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but, but you're right, that level of jeopardy that anyone yes. could go at any time Yes. Uh, really enhances that emotional Very ball. much so. And there aren't many television shows at, the, at this moment in time that do that and just do it so well. There is a part of you that just goes, oh, if you want to know what's going to happen with so-and-so or so-and-so, you could read the book. Yeah. You could read the book. Yeah. George um, would be happy about that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> read the books. They're brilliant. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Did you read the books in preparation? For I did. Yeah. I did. I, um, I hadn't read the books before I found out that I was fortunate enough to play the role. But having, um, having been told that I was going to be able to play Egret, I kind of dove in yeah. to all the books and just threw myself into Westeros, yeah. yeah. 
So, so now that you've been on like two of the biggest shows like ever in the history of television, where do you go from? <laughs> is it all downhill? Now? I think it is. I think it is. I peaked so early. Um, it's all going to go downhill from here. Um, I really don't know. I think uh, my goal, obviously, is to continue working. Yeah. All about all about employment yeah. as an actor. Yeah. Uh, any any desire to move over to film? Yeah. I would love to. I would love to. I, I've been given a wonderful opportunity. I'm going to be working in North Carolina uh, in April, so in a couple of weeks' time, and I'll be um, shooting a movie uh, over there, yeah. uh, which will be very, very yeah. exciting. Yet another very different climate. And yes, <laughs> which is going to be slightly, I'm approaching with a bit of a trepidation because I'm not good in the sun, and I think it's going to be pretty hot in North Carolina come spring and summer. But uh, hopefully I won't turn into Yeah, you just walk outside and just burn. Oh my god, like that. <laughs> like that. I'm white, pink, and then I go back to being white again. It's so great. Thank you so much for doing this. It was a lovely conversation. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming lovely in. To meet you.